Hey, howdy. So today is probably going to be the last day until I take a hiatus for, for a winter break. May as well make the most of it. Oh, that looks pretty. Then freaking the <laughs> Grand Scientific Museum. That's a, this is a fun area. Let's go square square first. weird. It's like in a way I can't describe. Very melancholy, in fact, that <laughs> the next month I won't be recording videos. And I'm not going to try and build up a backlog this time because there's no way in heck that I'm going to be able to build up a... There's no way in heck that I'm going to be able to build up a, a collection for 30 days worth of content. That's just not happening. Still, well, all I can really hope for is that, is that there will be people here when I come back. Hello. Flickering. This is an endless hallway, I think. But things are changing. This is very weird. stuck in this endless hell. Alright. What was the other path? Spirals world. Interesting. It was like Robotic Slaves World or something. Robotic Slaves Tunnel. Interesting. Southwest of the entrance. There you are. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. This is... <laughs> it's certainly an aesthetic. Kinda reminds me of Oddworld. What is that? I was worried for a second that it was gonna pick me up. But we were, we were encased in glass, so we're safe. 
That was really loud. That was such a loud sound. Handheld game pond. Interesting. Oh, that's cool. Can I go in the door? Uh. Oh, no, I'm a dumbass. There's, there's a path right here. This looks so cool, genuinely. Oops. <laughs> oh my god. That is a that is adorable. Oh. Whoa. Um What? <laughs> this area looks very looks really pretty. I'm curious about that eye thing though. Is it I wonder if that's like a Lauren Tower situation that you have to to visit every, maybe you have to go to hear from every from every connecting area, and it'll lock a part of the eye for each part. Oh, never mind. That's quite cool. So I imagine that as you fill in more pieces, this gets. This gets more and more full. Cool. And now... Grand Scientific Museum. <clears throat> I knew the path to the Sugar Road would be important. This path again. I still gotta visit Infinite Library again. I've been I've been meaning to. I guess that'll that might just have to wait until after the break. Um way. Really? There's a path to Chaos Exhibition from here? Interesting. Graffiti City. This is a weird, weird area. Ah, uh, should I... Hmm. Should I go and visit Mar uh, Marina? That's actually a good question. Because there's not a crazy amount of things to do in the Grand Scientific Museum. So I could just backtrack and head to and go see Marina.
Uh, and from here I go to Ghost Town, which is... One moment. South. Ghost Town to Misty Bridges, which is left, if memory serves. Interesting. Whoa. I seem to remember this path. This I think this is the way to the museum. Grand Scientific Museum, and I'm not going to flip on the light. I'm going to backtrack from here. Back into Graffiti City, and then from there I can head to Blue Cactus. Believe it, guys? Christmas, just a week away. Wow. Is this a two way entrance? Okay, good. Oh. Was that a Roomba? What was that? And now from here... Cactus Islands, and I think there's... Yeah, Hidden Shoal. There's Marina! Oh, that's right. Best girl is here. Um... Wait a minute. There's no way to leave this area, is there? Okay, good. <laughs> I was worried for a second that I was just gonna be boxed in. Um... I think I go and visit Marina right away. Because it depends on whether or not the area is fenced in. Yep, it's fenced in. Um... Okay. 
Voice of the Jellyfish, accessible from the ocean proper. So there is a way to get out. So that must mean there's a way to get in as well. Music is great. It's very peaceful. So, I actually pop out, my entrance is right next to Marina. I didn't see that before. So it is fully encased, but there's a door that leads inside. It is this door right here. And from here, I don't need the map. I can just kind of wander. There's apparently a menu theme around here as well. Mid. Some of his maps, some of his maps are all right. I like Nazca Desert conceptually. I just wish it was a little bit. If, if it were easier to access, it would be a lot cooler. All right. So where did I just go? This is the theme with this is the room with the menu theme in them. And it's a water room, so all of them are eggs. No, it's not even water room. I guess it just just mated eggs anyway. Um. Okay, so if I go this way into the second door and left.
Yay! <laughs> it's best girl. I love how much of a reference this is to the original game. Like, it's so... <laughs> it's so on the nose. Uh... I'm curious. I, it's been ages since I've been here. Tesla Garden, Marina's House... Okay, so when the light's on, it leads to Blue Cactus Islands. When the lights are off, it leads to Lost Shoal. Okay, now where does Lost Shoal lead? Twilight Park. Where does Twilight Park lead? Monolith Jungle. Oh, right! I went to Twilight Park for one of the clocks. That's why I remember this route. Ruined Garden. There's a connection to Silent Sewers? Interesting. What Orient Orient Clockworks? Entropy Dungeon. I'm I'm just going through the list. <laughs> Ancient Crypt. Radiant Stones Pathway. Crim Crimson Labyrinth. Oh, that's under construction. What about Crimson Labyrinth? It leads to negative space. Interesting. There's one more place that I kind I kind of want to check out. There is an area. It was like Cheese Hell, like hot, dark Cheese Hell. This is the area I was, <laughs> I was thinking of. I remember hearing people mention this one and thinking, "Oh man, that sounds awful." Hey. Nice talking to you. You know what? I'm gonna give a good college try to go in that direction. And if I run out of time or something comes up, so be it. But I remember I remember a good chunk of this path. It looks like there are other people in Wooden Block World as well. finished rice bowl next to me. I'm so glad that I didn't have I didn't get the um the soap gene. Either that or I just love the taste of soap. <laughs> Either or. Fairly certain it's the it's the um former. I forget what direction Nazca is, it's to the east, I think. 
like I said, I like this area. I love areas that you just walk into and you go and you just are surprised by how many uh, connections there are. But this time we're going to Love Lodge. A little old place where we can get together. Uh, and then from here we go to Refrigerator Tower. That was actually a very cool transition. Hang up. From here, where do I go? left side of the fourth floor. So I guess I kind of just have to keep climbing. I'm on the second floor right now. There you are. And now we enter what a lot, what I've heard people call the most annoying area in the game to navigate. Oh god, I think I can see why. Uh, why not? Let's let's take the shortest path. Maybe I'll come back later and explore this place in more depth. Yeah, so I, I'm right here right now. Align myself with this passage here until it breaks. Then I just follow the concavity. <clears throat> what are... Uh... Are you the teleporter? Hello. Okay, that's not the teleport. He's just a little dude. Serum Laboratory. This music does not fit in the slightest. <laughs> this sounds like, um, what am I thinking of? This sounds like Windows Movie Maker default music. Take your child to work day. I work in a laboratory creating super soldier serum. Here's my daughter. <laughs> well, she actually cares. She actually cares about my presence, at least somewhat. It's a bit rudimentary, but I kind of like the area. It's just that the music does not fit at all. Hang on, dude, can you move? Okay. I was so worried it was going to pull out a needle or something. Because <laughs> you can... It does seem like you can set custom vending machines when you're making these worlds. I was worried it was going to be something a bit... It, was, it wasn't going to be standard. But, yeah. I think that about does it. For those who celebrate, have a nice Christmas. And to everyone, to everybody, have a happy new year. See y'all in January. <laughs>